Welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Check this out. Be naughty. Nice is overrated. If you guys don't know me, I'm um, I'm Heather. Hi. <laughs> I'm chasing everywhere and I am from San Diego, California. So I am home for Christmas here in San Diego. If you're new to my channel, most of my videos are not like this. I'm, I tend to make travel related content. I make drone videos and city guides and travel vlogs. So this is gonna be a little different, but I would like to start incorporating more of my lifestyle and my life into my videos. And I think that that'll be really fun. I'm really excited to start vlogging miss I'm I'm stoked to kind of give you guys a bit more inside scoop into my daily life and I think vlogging every day for 25 days is really gonna accomplish that oh my gosh I am I'm so excited to actually try to do vlogmas and I say try because I've never done this before I know it can be a lot of work and I'm really really excited Okay, so in my family, my dad was raised Catholic and my mom was raised Jewish and we still celebrate Hanukkah and Christmas. And I think it's honestly more of the cultural aspects of it, like the, the decorations and the gift giving and the stories behind it and getting together with family. And Hanukkah does overlap with Christmas this year. So I'm going to be vlogging both of my activities with my family. That being said, I want to come up with like a fun name for my vlogmas. Christmas, but it's also Hanukkah. So vlogmas, vlogmica, how do we combine these two things? <laughs> so if you guys have any ideas, comment below what you think I can call this. So vlogmas, vlogmica, vlog, vlog Chris, Chrismica, vlog Chrismica, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, help me out with that one. Uh, let's get started as to what is going on up here. I have extensions and I just got back from Mexico. For whatever reason, every time I showered in Mexico, my hair would fall out. It's at the point now where there's like five pieces left and it just looks ridiculous. So I'm just wearing it up and I am going to get my hair done today and I am so excited to get it fixed. This was the best way I thought to kick off Vlogmas was to take you guys along and show you the process of getting my hair to look really good. <laughs> um, but first coffee. I'm really excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, I promise I will not look this gross the rest of the time because my hair will be done. So I'm gonna drink my coffee and I am going to get ready to head to the hair salon. I'm so excited to deal with this issue. <laughs> and then I need to go to Target I haven't been to Target since it became like fall. So I'm so excited to see what kind of stuff they brought out this year. I think it's gonna be so much fun. So today's gonna be a really good day. Let's go. My coffee, I need this. <laughs> okay, so quick outfit change because this weather is super weird. So I put on a sweater to not die because it's cold. Get ahead to my hair appointment. I'm so excited to get this mess on my head taken care of. <laughs> I have all my hair that fell out in Mexico in a bag <laughs> so that she can put it all back on my head. It's so freaking weird. It's literally like more than more than half of my extensions fell out while I was in Mexico. It was every time I took a shower, every time I brushed my hair even a little bit, it would just like slide on out. And that doesn't normally happen. Normally with your extensions, like you get them moved up every 10 weeks or so, but you only lose like maybe one or two, like the glue gets loose. So you just don't, you don't lose all of them. So it was really bizarre and I, I look bad right now. So it's good that you guys are not seeing it. You're just seeing this little like bun on top of my head. Um, I'll show you guys when we get to this one, just how bad it is. Taylor, my hair girl is going to not believe it. I warned her, but 
I still don't think she gets the magnitude of how bad it actually looks right now. So I'm so glad that we are dealing with this. Day. This is so pretty. Ugh, I love Encinitas. Okay, so you just got here, and before I go in, I want to show you guys my hair that has fallen out of my head. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna laugh. This is all my hair. This is a lot. Um, so I am going to go get that put back in my head now. So I'll see you guys inside. letting it sit right now and get all the extra little glue out of my hair. You can see all my extensions behind me. All right, next time you see me, I will be looking good. <laughs> So much better now having my hair done. So she cut it a little bit. Um, my ends were getting a little frayed, and so she wanted to make them a little shorter and a little, a little more cleaned up. Oh my god, I feel so much better, and now I am so ready to just start the holidays and get going. And <laughs> this weather is so ridiculous. Okay, I am running to the store to pick up a few things, and then I will see you guys there. You guys can get a decent look at my hair. It is looking so much better. I feel so good. And we are here at Target, my favorite. Okay, I know it's winter and I'm so used to not being in the States in winter, but it's getting dark and it's like four o'clock. This is just gross. Like, I don't like it. I want the sun to stay out longer. All right, so I have a photo shoot tomorrow for work. So I need to pick up some props that are very Christmassy and holiday-y. So I'm hoping to find some here. If not, I'm gonna head to Home Goods. But yeah, I'm just like super bummed that it's like icky that it's already getting dark out and it's barely four o'clock. So let me know below, is this something that bugs you too? Cause I hate this about winter in the Northern hemisphere. This is why I chase summer and I go South in the winter. It's like, I'll go to South, like last winter I was in South Africa where it was so nice out and cause it's their summer. So I literally was just hopping back and forth between the hemispheres and avoiding winter because I get so bummed when it's dark and cold. glittery stuff and these are so cute but just look at all the glitter on the shelf that's when you know that these are gonna just get everywhere in the house and I don't want to deal with that like look at this oh it's so much glitter like, I swear I didn't even touch anything and it's somehow still all over me I'm just standing next to it I've barely made it into the store and I'm already smelling candles it smells so good I think I have to get this one. It's so good. This one's milk and cookies. I swear, I'm in the I'm in the dollar section. I literally haven't even entered the store yet, and I'm already stopped and smelling all the candles. This is so good, though. This one smells like Oreos. Does it get any more San Diego? These are all so good. This whole the whole store is Christmas right now. Like literally everywhere. It's just sweaters and wow. So I totally thought that these were stockings and they're slippers. There's one pair over here that I'm like kind of obsessed with. They look like bath mats, but these are these are slippers. So they're like, you can see how long they are. Like, they have like little sticky feet on the bottom. I, I think I might buy these. I don't know if I'll even wear them, but they're so soft that I feel like 
I can wear them for something and make invalidate buying them. Yeah, I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> My favorite section. There's always so much cute stuff in here. Okay, so I think I need a cozy knit blanket for the shoot. Maybe this one. This one stashed down here. This one has fur on it. These are all so cute. Um, white fuzzy one, pink. All the Christmas stuff. God, there's so many choices. Ooh, that blanket's like perfect. Here we go. That's what I needed. Here we go. I am obsessed with this. Look at the fuzzy one. Oh, guys, this tree is like my dream. I'm obsessed with the flocking and the clear ornaments and this fuzzy one is my favorite. I'm just going nuts in the decoration section right now. It's so cute in here. Okay, I think I'm done torturing myself in Target. Time to go to Home Goods and then I will be done for this day. Vlogmas day one, almost complete. <laughs> my car is in Target jail. No. How am I? Okay, bye. That's so perfect. Okay, let's go. Oh, all the Christmas stuff. We come to Home Goods just for sand and fog. I am obsessed with these candles. They smell so good. And they have like their little fancy ones. I'm looking for one called Winter White. So hopefully I can find it. So it's kind of hard. Let's see here in lavender. Holiday berry smells so good. Oh. Does anyone else come to Home Goods just to smell candles? Because I will come here just to pick out some candles and I always want to smell like every single one. One time I was sitting on the floor of the candle aisle, like literally digging through the candles trying to find this one smell. And this girl that worked there came by and offered to help me. And she told me straight up that one of the main reasons she took a job here is so that she could smell all the candles. So I know I'm not alone, but let me know if you guys do that too and I'm not totally just crazy. <laughs> oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, here we are. This is going to be a mission. I am not having any luck finding winter white. I found chai and it smells so good. I think I might get this one. Okay, I'm getting off track now. I have found pineapple coconut. Oh my God, that smells like the beach. That smells so good. And it's a really pretty color blue. This, one. <laughs> this is literally what I do. This is so bad. Oh, there's another one I want to... Lemoncello. Oh, now I'm on the floor. <laughs> this is such a big candle. Oh, this smells like Italy. It literally smells like lemoncello. This is so good. I'm gonna buy the chai one because it smells like Christmas and it smells amazing. I am just like in a sea. This is my happy place. I'm in a sea of candles smelling all the Christmassy smells and it is amazing. Oh, the Hanukkah stuff. So they have like an entire Christmas section way over there, but we have our little Hanukkah section. I definitely am gonna need to pick up a few things to decorate for both holidays. And have you, oh, there's, there's more, yay, more. And have you guys figured out a name for me yet? Vlogmas, Vlogmica, help me out. I'm definitely gonna need some help. Somebody please give me a reason to buy this. This guy is a giant sloth. Any of my friends with kids need a a giant sloth face. Oh, he's so cute and he's so soft. Oh my God. Okay, so anyone let me know if I should buy that. Or give me a reason to buy him because he's so cute. This is why I can't home, come to Home Goods, you guys. Chocolate pizzas. Look at that. It's literally chocolate pizza. Okay, and then there's this aisle that is just terrifying, but I'm a sucker for dark chocolate sea salt. Oh my God. Oh, look at this guy. Little Frenchie with glasses and he's a cookie jar. Okay guys, I think I'm going to end the vlog here where I am surrounded by good smelling candles and Christmassy goodness and some Hanukkah stuff too. So this is kicking off Vlogmas day one. I am so excited and I am really pumped to show you guys the rest of this month and all the cool, fun, holiday-esque things I'm gonna be doing. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe because I have a bunch more stuff coming literally 
tomorrow and I am so excited for this holiday season. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye.